What's up everybody? I go by the name of the Gaff. Sitting here in uh, my tent because it's pouring rain to a torrential downpour at the Field Festival 07. It's been a pretty fun day. Everything's been nice so far until the thunders and lightning came and uh, now everybody's running for cover and ducking into their tents and scrambling to put up their tarps. It's all records, 45s, a lot of funk and soul, and uh, play a lot of like funky jazz, and I mix it with hip hop because uh, all those things are the origins of hip hop, and uh, I like to mix a lot of rock and psych into there as well. So we kind of run the gamut of, uh, of all musical genres, but most of the stuff that I play other than hip hop is from the late 60s and early 70s. So I just cut it all up and uh, mix it together and sometimes I have two copies where I go back and forth and other times I just scratch one record and mix them all together and uh, keep them playing for a bit. I buy a lot of records, spend a lot of money on them, and uh, when a new one gets into my house, sometimes I just might feel inspired or motivated to sample it, which means I just take the record off myself and uh, put it from the turntable into my sampler, and then I assign it to a different key and uh, make a drum beat, uh, I might make a bass line, either uh, record it from the source or replay it from myself, and uh, sequence it all together and uh, put it into the computer. And, Eventually it all comes together as a complete song. The things that I look for a lot are um, records with open bass lines. Anything where the instrument goes in solos, and I can take that and chop it up and recontextualize it, kind of like an audio collage, and uh, make a song out of it. Sometimes I spend a lot of money on records. I mean. I spent almost a thousand dollars on a record before. And one of the first records I bought that cost me any money was like 15 or 20 bucks for a jazz record. I was like, 15 or 20 bucks, this is outrageous. Well, you know, just last week I spent $400 on a jazz record. And, uh, what do I do with it? I don't know, just listen to it. It's not the kind of record I take out of my house and go play for people. I, you know, it's pretty much worth its weight in gold, so it just kind of sits in my house. So for example, with some of the records that I've been collecting, they might find themselves onto a mixtape that me and my friend Factor did together. It's all psych and folk records. You've never heard the song before, so you might not even know that we did anything to it or that there's four different songs all kind of being blended together. I don't really see a lot of need for websites nowadays. I mean, everybody's just all about MySpace and Facebook, so it's uh, a pretty easy guy to find on there. And, I'm always around town, I'm always playing shows. Hopefully you'll come to some of my shows and check them out and have a great time. Dance, get crazy, get wild, whatever you gotta do.